Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I'm back to do prompt number two from the playing cards challenge over in the Facebook page called Create with Scrimping Mommy. <laughs> so if you fancy joining in, it's a Facebook group and there's loads of inspiration and everybody's joining in in the four card challenge. It's weekly and it's really nice and easy and fun. So the prompt for this week, which is week two, is butterflies. So I've got my four cards here. And again, just like the last time, I'm going to do four of them at once. Um, yeah, so a little bit of background first. And I've got some hearts here for my hearts suit playing cards. And yeah, I know, but Liz, that's not butterflies, that's hearts, I hear you shout. <laughs> the butterflies will be along in a minute. <laughs> So I'm just going to use some of this gold gilding wax um, just to add a little bit of texture to, I think, the black hearts. Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, so just use my finger to put this on. We'll have no wise cracks about James Bond and Goldfinger. Oh, I think I maybe went a wee bit over the, over the top there, but that's okay. So I'm going to have a red and then a black one on. Can you see the gold there? I think you probably can. There's quite a lot on it. Didn't really mean for it to be quite as bold, but it's done now. And once this gold is on, it's on to stay. So you need to be very careful with it. See, there's a little bit went on to the, the red there, but that's okay. <sighs> we'll go with it. Maybe I'll put some on the red. The minute you, the second your finger slips, it goes and, the, and you just can't rub it off. It's impossible to rub off. So I'm just going to do a black, red, r red, black, black, red, red, black. Easy peasy. And then we will add our butterflies. Oh, and I meant to say that these were die cut using these uh, two dies. I have a big shot, um, a big shot plus the bigger one. Um, I've had a big shot for, oh, since they came out and then I upgraded to the bigger one a few years back. Now, do we want gold? I, just don't, I don't think I want the gold on all of it. I think I just want touches of it like that. Right, let's try and get as much as possible of my fingers. There we are. Right, I'll just get the lid on that. Okay, I'm going to stick these down before we add the butterflies. So, doesn't matter which order we do them in. I've got my gluey magazine here. I'm just going to use a glue stick and we'll just get this down. So this is Saturday, yeah, and I'll try and get it straight, Elizabeth. Try and get it straight. There we are. Yeah, uh, so we were in the city centre this morning in Glasgow city centre and uh, where we park the car it's quite a big open car park it's not a multi-story or anything it's just a, a, a big piece of land behind um, the main shopping centre behind Argyle Street and um, half of it was all closed off 
Ooh, that is properly a little bit messy, but well, that's the way of it. Yes, half the car park was all closed off because Batman had arrived again for filming. I thought the Batman film was uh, pretty much done and dusted and filmed, but they're back. It's quite funny to see. So there was a street closed as well. So they were doing up the shops with new shop uh, shop names across, you know, above the, the windows and putting up some posters and trying to make the place look like Gotham. And uh, so that was quite fascinating to see. So in the car park, there were rows and rows of these big fancy um, Winnie Bagels, you know these, I dare say that's where the actors have their breaks and where they do the makeup and things and whatnot. I'm guessing, where they get changed and then along from them there was catering and then along from that were all the I told a lie earlier, told you that didn't come off once it was down, but it does maybe because the cards are shiny. Um, and then along from that were all the cars and buses to use in the filming. So there was like a New York taxi cab and a cop car and a bus that said, a coach that said Gotham transport services on the site <laughs> when there was when we parked the car there was a young couple coming behind us with a wee boy and uh, he was getting quite excited and his dad's like no you won't see batman <laughs> and he started singing the song right so here we i can't stop myself putting them in number order <laughs> Right, the gold has become a little bit messy, but that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll get on with adding our butterflies. So let's do number two first. And this is my little butterfly for number two. And this is the little hand that's holding the butterfly. Can you see? <laughs> now, he's not going to squish the butterfly. No butterflies were harmed. And yeah, so let's just get that down. These uh, hands and butterflies were fussy cut from have I showed you the book before? I've got it here. This is the book, Extraordinary Things to Cut Out in Collage. And it's filled with things to cut out in collage. Just, it does, it's, it does what it says on the tin. <laughs> Where did my, there it's there. Oh, I thought I had lost that one, but I thought it had flown away. Like, no, I don't want to be on that card. We are, and make sure the paper's actually quite fine, quite thin, and it's easy to tear. I have torn quite a few things in the past. Let's just give that a dab. Yeah, well, let's just. Here we are. So, that one's ready for its next stage and we have this hand and this little butterfly. <laughs> this person's put their finger out and the butterfly has come and landed.
just get a little bit in, I think. Down a little bit. Yeah. So that was quite exciting this morning. Seeing all the, the filming. I'm quite fascinated by it all. When they were here before, oh golly, it must be about, I don't know, maybe, maybe about a year ago, maybe, maybe not as long as that. But um, they had turned a street, a whole big street, one of the main streets, oh, off my finger, um, into, so that there was going to be a ticker tape parade and there was bands and horses and police and oh my goodness all sorts and red white and blue banners and and what it was was uh they were filming the parade of the astronauts coming back from landing on the moon i think it was so it will be interesting to see that in the film. So if anybody sees watches the Batman film in the future, then when you see the ticker tape parade and the astronauts, you'll know because I told you that that's actually Glasgow. <laughs> These are quite, um, quite unusual, aren't they? I think. <laughs> right, about there. Anyway, we like to do things a little bit different. I should really turn the page because that page is getting very gluey and it's thing things are sticking to it. Let me just turn it there. Yeah, so that was us this morning. Now I'm having a nice relaxing Saturday afternoon play. And then I will meet hubby on the sofa later on and we'll watch a movie. And then we will watch The Masked Singer. So it's celebrities that are wearing a costume. <laughs> and they sing. And some of them can sing and some of them can't. And you've got to try and guess <laughs> the, who they are in the costume. These are working out quite well, aren't they, do you think? <laughs> mm, bit different. Right, so I've got some words to add. I've got a little saying and the saying is, it's one saying that's going to be across the four cards. So, the butterfly is only, and I'll stick these down, but I just want to sit on them just now. The butterfly is only beautiful because the caterpillar is brave. Oh, whoops. There. Now these were stamped, just let me show you, using this little set alphabet set it's Hampton art I've had it for a long time this little set and I just used my Versafine and a old vintage book page from a dictionary encyclopedia type book so that's I just stamped them, them out and I think it brings the set together just having the words like that Right, so I'm just going to get these down and then that'll be us, I think. We'll have one final look 
on this side if it needs any finishing touches but I'm thinking probably not butterfly is only beautiful to be careful here I don't want to tear my stamped out warts move on to another part of the magazine so we went for a coffee this morning in Glasgow once we left the car park and after looking at all the things we went for a nice coffee and then I went to the art shop Bought a couple of watercolour pens because my flesh colour ran out yesterday. So so that was good. I got them. I got a pale pinkish colour and a pale beigey colour. Move that up a little bit. And last one. So, yes, yeah, so I went to the art shop and then what else did we do? Oh, I went to the, uh, the news agent and I managed to get the new Daphne's Diary magazine. This one's only got one, so I can just put that center stage. So I've got some nice reading to do. Right. So, what do you think? I'm liking them, they're a bit different, totally different from last week's, or the other day, I'm on catch up, but yes, I like them, so pleased at that, so if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great, and I'll see you next time, bye for now.